Hi, I'm Dr. Tan Mai, and I'm here at Insight Vision Center to teach my patients how to have a lifetime of healthier vision so they love the way they see. And I want to educate you more about what you can do about cataracts that your eye doctor might not have told you about when you last saw him. So the first thing I want to tell you is what causes cataracts in the first place. It's not just aging. Aging is a big part of it, but what exactly happens during aging that causes cataract formation. In my experience, and based on ample research, there's a few different factors that cause cataracts to form. One is glycation. For instance, patients that have got high sugar content, they will lead to glycation and different rearrangement of the proteins inside the lens. And when that happens, premature cataract formation can happen as well. There's also oxidative stress and free radical damage. Patients that undergo radiation or experience a traumatic event to the eye, they get hit in the eye accidentally, and that blunt force trauma causes premature cataract formation. On top of that, there's also some genetic reasons why patients develop cataracts earlier than others. So if those are the causes of cataract formation, what can we do to prevent cataract formation in the first place? So there are a few ways we can do to prevent cataract formation. The first I'd like to discuss is just your diet. Your diet is a very important part of how your eyes develop over time, and it can absolutely influence how cataracts form as well. Patients that have really high green leafy vegetable diets, high in omega-3s, high in lutein, zeaxanthin, that's good for even the macula, um, it, which is the central part of your retina behind the eye. Patients that have nice green leafy vegetable diets tend to prevent the risk of cataract formation than other patients that have more processed food. So absolutely eating a lot of processed foods, especially sugary foods, can lead to premature cataract formation. In fact, it's that sugary food that can lead to the glycation and the binding and changing of the cells inside the lens inside the eye that cause that cataract formation. So patients that eat a lot of breads, sugars, even unfortunately eating like fruit, eat a lot of bagels and things like that that might not seem so sweet but a lot of these carbohydrates they're just small they're just chains of these sugar molecules that get cut up and then eventually absorbed in the body which can lead to a sugar spike and when the sugar spikes and especially with my patients that have diabetes they tend to have very early onset cataract formation because of the damage caused by glycation and because of what happens from the lens being exposed to the sugar that we eat in our diet one of the biggest things we can look at is diet the next thing is, of course, smoking. Smoking causes a lot of just stress and free radical damage that can damage the lens inside the eye. This smoking and the fact that the lens is exposed through the aqueous humor and the fluid around the lens to free radicals can lead to premature cataract formation, which is something that can be avoided if you just quit smoking. Hard to do, I understand. But just know that patients that smoke double or even triple their risk of early cataract formation. The next thing is a little bit less known, but some patients, for instance, patients that have a corneal transplant or patients that have just severe autoimmune diseases that are on long-term use of corticosteroids. So these patients, they use steroid eye drops to reduce inflammation, prevent graft rejection. There are a lot of different reasons why, or autoimmune diseases, why a patient might be using a steroid eye drop. Unfortunately, those steroid eye drops can contribute to premature cataract formation. So if you're on a steroid eye drop, that's something to consider as well. Just know that I'd be checking with my doctor regularly to make sure they're monitoring the health of the inside of my eyes, looking at the lens, looking at my retina, checking my eye pressure, for instance. These are all things that could be affected by steroid eye drops. The next thing is I really recommend my patients remove a, a lot of the processed fats and vegetable oils. I like more olive oil, avocado, grass-fed animal fats. These are much better for your diet than to eat things like oils like um, soybean, sunflower, canola oil. Those are things that can unfortunately contribute more to accelerated cataract formation. So if you just switch you know, from that canola oil over to a avocado oil, that would be better for you to prevent cataract formation. The last two are a little more obvious for some, but one is, of course, just wearing sunglasses when you're outside. There's that, we mentioned radiation, but there's also UV radiation from the sun, and that long-term exposure over time, over the course of years and decades, can damage the structure inside the eye because of the exposure to natural sunlight, which is unfortunately has ultraviolet light in the middle. The middle. The last is alcohol consumption. 
So drinking a lot of alcohol, especially if you're a, a daily drinker, can lead to oxidative stress inside the eye. That oxidative stress is another one of those factors I mentioned in, in terms of glycation, oxidative stress, radiation, trauma, genetic reasons that can contribute to premature cataract formation. So limiting your alcohol or eliminating altogether might be a way to, for you to help prevent your cataracts to form faster than they normally would. So with that said, those are seven different things you can do to prevent cataract formation. Again, cataracts are a clouding of the lens inside the eye. If your doctor has just told you there's nothing you can do about it, it's just age related, absolutely not. By changing your diet, your UV exposure, you know, watching certain medications you're taking, these are important risk factors you can address in order to prevent the premature formation of cataracts. If this video was helpful and you want me to discuss other things, leave certain comments in the notes. I can talk about any, anything and everything at all. Email us if you want to get direct help at social at insightvisionoc.com. We're happy to help you and answer any of your questions. Again, that's social at insightvisionoc.com.